So quickly looking at the proteins that actually make up the red blood cell cytoplasm. No, cytoskeleton. <laughs> All right, proteins that make up the red blood cell uh, cytoskeleton. All right. So the most popular ones are what spectrin, ankyrin, protein 4.1. But you get to see that we have other ones too. All right. So let's look at the lecture. So you see them. Ankyrin, protein 4.1, actin, different things. So, so that the red blood cell cytoplasm, uh, cytoskeleton, what's my problem with cytoplasm? Red blood cell cytoskeleton is what highly specialized structure that provides red blood cells with the ability to be flexible and the ability to be durable. You know, their flexibility helps them to be durable, right? Right? So if you are flexible, even if the blood vessel is small, you maneuver and twist. Do you understand? Find your way in. So, they actually need this flexibility and durability to navigate through the circulatory system for those 120 days that they actually want need to live. So several uh, key proteins from this cytoskeletal network contribute to what? The biconcave shape that red blood cells have and the various other mechanical properties based on membrane that they have. Okay. So for the uh, key proteins of the red blood cell cytoplasm, we have spectrin. So you see spectrin, you see spectrin. So let's talk about spectrin. We said that spect spectrin is flexible and an and, and elongated what, protein that forms a mesh-like network on the inner surface of the membrane. So that is what is inside. And the way it's spiral, it's more of like a mesh. Okay. So it provides what structural support and maintains the biconcave shape of the red blood cell. It also helps the cell recover its shape after any deformity comes in. They are about actin. Actin filaments are short. Let's locate them. This is it. Actin. Just very short. Just very short. Okay. So actin filaments are short. They are linear, pol uh, linear what, polymers that interact with spectrin. Functions. They form cross links with spectrin and create a lattice that provides what mechanical support and flexibility. Right? These are the different types of shape of red blood cells. Okay. So we have band three proteins. Band three proteins. Okay, let's use this image now. Band three. Can we locate them? Band three proteins. Can you see them here? Band three proteins. So these ones are what integral proteins or integral membrane proteins that span the red blood cell membrane. They play a role in gas exchange by facilitating the transport of bicarbonate and chloride ions. Okay, so it also anchors the cytoskeletal network to the membrane via interactions with ankyrin and other proteins. They will have ankyrin coming in. So where is ankyrin here? This is ankyrin. Right? Ankyrin, they are a protein that links spectrin to band three. So looking at here. What we got here is band 3, band 3. Okay. You can see that the spectrin is now linking here. All right. So, Ankyrin is just in between band 3 and spectrin. So, Ankyrin anchors the spectrin acting network of the red blood cell membrane, stabilizing the cytoskeleton and maintaining membrane integrity. Okay. Yeah, protein 4.1. Protein 4.1. This is protein 4.1. That one is just like on the spectrin. So, pretty four point one now. They interact with spectrin and actin, as well as what integral membrane proteins like what glycophorin. Okay. So, function is enhances what mechanical stability of the spectrin actin network, and strengthens the membrane's linkage to the cytoskeleton. Right. Then we have adducin. That one is not it's not listed here. Right? But just now there's adducin. Okay. It's a protein that caps with the fast growing end of the actin filament and promotes their binding to spectrin. Function is to regulate the assembly of spectrin actin network and contributes toward the membrane stability. Okay, so that's it for what the various uh, 
proteins that are actually what make up the red blood cell cytoskeleton. Spectrin, actin, protein 4.1, and chirine, band 3, adocene. Okay, so that's it.